Thanks to the supporters of channel member Tyler Huffman. Remember how last season the board slashed my budget halfway through the season so I couldn't do any more transfers, but despite all the odds, I managed to get us promoted, but then they still didn't increase our budget, so I created a wonderful squad from us on a smaller budget than we'd worked with for years, and everything was going really, really well. Well, this year, they've slashed my budget even further. Only a quarter of the way through the season, we're now massively overspending, have to remove several key elements of that very important squad, and goodness me... Do we need this cup run? Hello and welcome to part 66 of Wembley to Wembley. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we have that all-important FA Cup fourth qualifying round game against Weymouth. And we also play Oxford in the league. Since you were last with me, um, we've continued to play very well. Playing well, not a problem for us. Money, definitely a big problem. Um... This time last year, our budget was £2,400 a week. It got slashed back in the uh, halfway through last season down to about 1800 1900 I think. We were in budget at the end of the transfer window, um, but then we've had our budget slashed even further, £1,405 a week, which means we are now £500 a week over budget, which, based on the salaries that we pay, means we have to get rid of four or five players. We have a squad of actual permanent contracted players of, hold on, let's let's do this properly, uh, 13 people. And to get back in budget, we'd need to get rid of four or five of them. Those numbers don't add up, especially when you consider that some of the loans don't go through to the end of the season. Corbin Hosey, for example, he's only here until... February, Trevor Connor's only here until January. I'm bound to upset some of these other guys. Um, Charlie Gwynney's only here until February. So the three of them are not going to be here for the second half of the season. The uh, they, they, oh, We've already used all our long-term loans for the year. But things are going well. No, that's not the one that's going well. This is the one that's going well. Look at us go. We're second in the league. We are a good good team we haven't lost since the first episode of the season when we lost in that triple threat match against haven't and waterlooville but goodness me do we need a cup run like we've never needed one before we need a cup run to the third round and away game against manchester united that's the kind of desperate situation we're in we need to go and make a million pounds on this cup run so this game against weymouth mega mega important weymouth are playing at a lower level to us so you would expect us to be able to beat them but not only do we need to beat them we also then need to continue our form going in the league as well because the only if we're not going to have the cup run all i can really hope for is that we somehow outrun the administrators <laughs> and get a few more promotions and start to get a few more fans through the door i don't know financially i don't know how this club is sustainable i suspect it probably isn't that feels like a problem for the owners not for me though this is the team that we're going to take to weymouth it's not quite full strength because we've got that oxford game coming up in the very near future we've been resting niall ennis on the uh, on the cup run so far because he is older than time and it plus it gives me an op opportunity to to play McLennan and uh, and get him involved up from obviously Tom Best wants to play centre forward as well although he gets to play on the right wing today um, and this is the team it is Jacob in goal a back four of Machiavelli Hughes Bamba and Brown a back four of Scowan Hamilton Marrow and Best and then Patel and McLennan up from I don't think we signed anyone since the last episode the most recent signing was this guy I think he'd arrived last episode and he was the straw that broke the camel's back and caused them to slash the wage budget, even though he's on a non-contract. I love not having any money. It's really, really great. Let's go beat Weymouth and take another step on our road to Wembley. I'm starting to think the <laughs> we are potentially in a situation where the very next time we play in Wembley could be at Wembley Stadium obviously we don't play any of our matches in Wembley now so I don't know what's going to happen first we qualify for a game played at Wembley Stadium or get our own ground back in our own part of London I don't know if either of them are particularly likely at this point and we've conceded a corner here as we're about a quarter of a way through the first half and it's chaos and Jacob's let it sneak past him and in all seriousness if we bottle this against a team from lower down the leagues we have got big problems this year because this is an opportunity we've not made it this deep into the FA Cup 
for four years, five years, whenever that last cup run was, the one that saved us from certain bankruptcy the last time. And uh, goodness me, do we need this one this time around. We're going attacking straight away. We're going to demand more because we all know touchline shouts, absolutely crucial to football manager. I don't like the f fact they're playing a flat back seven. They've got a Segundo Volante in their team. This all seems, like they've got inside forwards. This all seems a little bit fancy for tier seven where they play. And they are better than us which I don't really understand. I mean, I know we've rotated a little bit, but it's not massive rotation. But they're uh, they're the best team at the moment. And I don't understand. There's nobody turned up, though, which is nice. I mean, a nice little day at the seaside. Way missed the seaside, right? Nice little day at the seaside and no one's turned up. Oh, good, the aliens are in. That's nice. Um, and there is the... Uh, there is a clearance. Of course, this is the first episode I've recorded since we had the FM25 announcements last week, which is why on yesterday's episode I got the day of the week wrong because I recorded it before I knew we'd be sneaking that one in. So expect me to mention touchline shouts a lot because after you lot finally convinced me to start using them, this series, Sports Interactive have now come out and said, yeah, don't bother. We're taking them away anyway. So thanks for that, boys and girls. I knew, I knew, I knew they were worthless. Kev was right all along. Uh, right, this is a problem. Talking of being right, um, do we just throw Ennis on at half time? Maybe for now we just try and get Tom Best more involved further forward and try that. Maybe even have one guy playing a little bit deeper in the shape of Marrow, who is natural in that role, but keep Hamilton playing as a playmaker for now. And we will offer some encouragement. And once again, it's Weymouth with a set piece, which is caught. They, they're causing us problems with these set pieces. But here is the man himself, Tom Best, the highest paid player at the club. So obviously his squad spot is now under threat again because of the latest financial developments. And goodness me, we'd miss him if he left because look at him. What a man Tom Best is. It was like the old days. Skims his man, finds the cross, finds the player and McLennan scores. And that is a lovely piece of counter-attacking football led by Tom Best, who's just turned that left back inside and out. That's what he does. We're going to stay attacking because we want to win the football match. So let's attack. Let's throw our front four at them and hope they're not able to cope with it. We should be, we should be comfortable here. I mean, yes, they're pushing for promotion to our league. We're pushing for promotion out of our league. So... We shouldn't be struggling as much as we are. Although, I mean, XG-wise, we have now gone ahead in the game, which is nice. XG, I don't think, officially counts when it comes to getting us into the hat for the next round, though. So, uh, Marrow's having a terrible game. Hosey could come on, but we're actually going to bring on Mikey McLaren and do that. McLaren, I think, is a ball-winning midfielder, isn't he? Yeah, ball-winning midfielder for McLaren. So, McLaren and Hamilton together in midfield. And I think we'll take off Scowan as well. And bring on, do we bring on Dan Yates for Scowen? Or do we bring on Niall Ennis and shuffle everybody around a little bit? That's what I'm leaning towards. I'm thinking we potentially move Patel out to the left-hand side and get Niall Ennis on in there, playing in his target forward role that he has been so good in this year. And then for my final trick, let's take off Brown, bring on Gwynny. Get him as a proper wing back. Three attacking changes there as we look to try and win the game and get into the first round proper of the FA Cup. Come on, let's go and do a football. It's not that hard. Won't somebody do something, please? Ennis is on now. We've got a lot of good attacking talent on the pitch. We will now take off Patel and bring on Yates, who is just a normal winger. And then we don't really have any more attacking changes, so... Unless we want to throw some energy into midfield. We don't really. Let's get Larson on at the back. A little bit of experience. One of our longer serving players now, even though he's obviously spent most of his time here on various loans. Only had one season as a permanent player, but I imagine he's still pretty high up the highly influential players list. Um, I think this is going to a replay, which is likely to be the second match in the episode because it's more important than whatever's going on in the league. That being said, if Weymouth score here balls to your replay we're out of the FA Cup for another year so please don't please don't score here Weymouth we need the money an awful lot more than you do you're a, you could afford a Segundo Volante we can't even afford the players that we've got right Hamilton 
trying to get it clear. And there is McLennan, who plays it back to Yates, and we're trying to get another counter-attack going here, and they've just fouled us. Just nipped our counter-attack in the bud when it all looked like it was going so well. And we're into the 95th minute. It's Weymouth with the ball again. This has been far too even a game for my liking. And I don't know why we haven't got the tackle in there, but luckily Jacob is equal to the shot and has managed to hold on to it. And we, we're bringing them back to our place, which I guess does make, make us more money. As long as we beat them, we do make more money by playing twice. Um, how much money do we make from that round? Not a huge amount, presumably. It was only a 1,000 people in attendance, but we'll just go straight into the, the replay now. In fact, I think we get the draw first, so we'll see what the prize is, and then we'll go and beat them in the replay, and it'll all be fine. Right, so here is the draw. Either an easy home game or a big money away game. I don't know if there are any big money away games. It depends on if any big clubs have made it into League One or League Two. I mean, Bradford's always a good attendance. Charlton, I guess, um, would be a decent one. Coventry... There's a few bigger games, but obviously at this point, I mean, the dream is you get all the way through to the third round and then get a big Premier League team for the big, big money because as much as Bradford get decent attendances, we're still only making 100 grand. Oh, we've popped out there. Away against Fylde. See, that's the worst case scenario. Away against a League Two team with no fans. So we're going to lose and we're not going to make any money doing it, which kind of makes the second game against Weymouth. Nah, doesn't really matter, does it? Because we're going to lose in the next round, unless we're going on a giant killing run. Can you can you giant kill against Fylde? Right, I've made a few changes for the return fixture. I'm still trying to rest Ennis, um, although he can uh, he can come on again if needed. Best's going to go up front alongside Patel for this one, as I continue to try and make Jordan Patel a thing through this FA Cup run. It's not really happening just yet, but he's got loads of potential. And if I've learned one thing this series, it's the potential is really important. And everyone fulfills it. So Patel alongside Best up front. Yates comes in on the left as a proper winger. Phelan comes in on the right as a proper winger. Larson's going to partner Marrow in midfield. None of this playmaker nonsense. We're doing tough guy midfielders. And then Gwynny is going to come on as an attacking wing back to, uh, to basically fly past the wingers. We're going full on wing play, overlap, overload the wide areas, get the ball in the middle and let Tom Best score a hat trick. That's the, that's the plan. And if it doesn't work, we can bring McLennan and Ennis on, who have got plenty of goals between them this season as well. So we've got plenty of options, goal-scoring-wise, and we've got a corner to start things off, and it's going to be feeling to take from the right, floats it over. At the far post, Gwynny is actually the guy who's there, um, and he's not able to make a proper contact with it. But I think we hit the post. So, you know, decent start, decent start, decent possession. I, as I said, decent possession. We were on 59%. It's now dropped down. But at least we're looking like the uh, the team from the higher leagues this time, which is, I guess, a positive. Um, but it would be nice if we could. We're gonna we're gonna use shouts as much as we can while we still can. <laughs> Make the most of shouts; they're very important. Oh, for goodness' sake! This is why shouts are so dumb. I encouraged them, and they immediately conceded. I'm going to blame the shout because obviously shouts have an impact. We go attacking again. We looked better when we were attacking in the first match. If Weymouth can beat us over two matches, that's that's troublesome. We're going to berate. Come on, you wallies. We've been in such good form. How are we going to get ourselves knocked out of the FA Cup when we need the money? I know Fylde isn't that inspiring, but we've got aspirations to play at that level. Some of you boys, Tom Best, must, must fancy his chances at playing in League Two one day. He's nearly 25 now. <laughs> He needs to he needs to show he can do it now. He needs to put on a show. It's not happening, is it? Right. Um I guess we push the wingers on again. And we're gonna bring Ennis on at half time for Patel, who just it's not working. And hopefully 45 minutes of Ennis alongside Tom Best and we'll create something. I think it's pretty clear at this point that we are struggling against this formation that Weymouth are using. But I'm not going to change ours. We've not got enough players to be able to change ours. Right, Yates is injured, so Scowan's going to have to come on. Um, Scowan, make him an inverted winger on that side. McLennan will be coming on shortly as well. Probably for, for Feeler, and we'll push Best out wide. As much as Best's not having a good game, when you need a hero you got to leave Tom Best on the pitch. That's such a poor pass. Who was that? 21, Marrow. 
he's coming off as well. On the hour mark, Marrow and Phelan both coming off unless something happens. Best plays it out to Phelan. And we've got Niall Ennis in the middle. It's been squared to him and it's straight at the keeper. Oh, we don't want this cup run, do we? Do these boys not like getting paid? Look at the state of the XG and we're just not scoring goals. Right. Double change. Phelan comes off. Best goes out wide. McLennan comes on to partner Ennis. And we're going to take off Marrow. And where are our midfielders? Brilliant. Marrow can stay on. We have no midfielders on the bench. What a genius. What management that is. We're demanding more. Weymouth have had two shots on target and scored one of them. Right. It is Ennis with a free kick. Floats it forward to Scow and he flicks it onto Connor. Connor's there, but I think he's offside. And the linesman is wafting his handkerchief around. And unfortunately, it is disallowed for offside. And again, we're knocking on the door and just not getting the breakthrough. Right, Ennis, again, back to goal. Lovely link-up play from Niall Ennis. That's why I like having that guy in the team. Ball over the top for Best, who does his man for paste. He's brought down... Paste? He does him for paste, apparently. He's brought down. It's a penalty. It's going to be Ennis with the chance to equalise from the penalty spot. Best causing problems on the counter-attack again. That's why you have to leave him on. And this time, Ennis can find the finish. It's 1-1 again, like it was in the first match, with 25 minutes to go. Can we go on and win the game, please? That would make me quite happy if we could win the match. Look at the state of the XG. We should be the team in the next round. We've been the better team here. We just need finishing. Right. Let's change the fullbacks. If in doubt, change the fullbacks. Brown's going to come on. Uh, Machiavelli's going to come on. Brown can play as a fullback fullback. And Machiavelli can basically play as an extra winger. That's all our substitutions use now with 20 minutes to go. That feels like that's not risky. Um, let's offer some encouragement. Presumably, it would go to extra time and penalties if it's still even. I don't know. I don't think it goes straight to penalties in the FA Cup. I don't know what the rules are in the FA Cup these days. I didn't know replays were still a thing. I don't think they are in real life, are they? I think this is the last year we're going to have the fun of the replays in Football Manager, unless that got overturned. I can't keep up with all the rule changes. Can we do a goal, please? What's going on? They're all shattered, and we're just not doing anything. Right, here we go. Goal, top corner, Ennis, just stick it there, take a bow, and let's pretend this wasn't as hard work as it seems to have been Get past Weymouth. Oh, he's gone for the other corner. See, if he'd have gone the side I said, we'd have scored there. Um, but Oh, no, it is straight to penalties. Wow, I really can't keep up with how the FA Cup works. So you get replays, but no extra time. That feels odd. But Tom Best from the penalty spot. Come on, Tom. Best is best. Oh, lovely. The aliens are here to celebrate the penalty shootout. I think he scored. We saw no evidence of it, though. If they're here for the whole penalty shootout, it is going to take some of the some of the tension out of the situation just a little bit. Um, right, we're 1-0 up, and now Jacob makes the save. He catches it as well. Any goalkeeper catching the ball in a penalty shootout, that's my kind of goalkeeper. That level of uh, look how good I am. And now Ennis already scored a penalty during the match, scores his penalty during the shootout as well, and then looked like he did a little poo on the pitch, which I don't think he did, but it's certainly what it looked like. And now Jacob, can he make another penalty save? He can't. That's a very good penalty. Just hit it really hard, straight down the middle, in front of all of our adoring fans. <laughs> oh, my word. Right, McLennan. It's all the strike. We've got so many strikers on the pitch. How did we not score? How has he not scorn? Scorn. I don't. I can't word properly today. Right, it's 2-1. We need Jacob to save another penalty or Weymouth draw level. And he does it. He's caught it again. He's caught two penalties in one shootout. He's cruising towards a knighthood right here. Um, and now Marrow, if he can score, puts us well in control. And he does. And it's a very comfortable penalty for Marrow. And now if we can get another Jacob penalty save, that is us into the first round of the FA Cup. And, I mean, the Blackpool Illuminations on at this time of year. If we're heading up to Fylde... We can go and we can go to Madame Two Swords. We can go and see the Illuminations. We'll have a lovely old time. I don't know that the donkeys are still out in October, but we could try. Um, let's not book the trip just yet, though, because we do still have to score one more penalty. I don't even remember who our fifth taker was. Fifth penalty taker is Bamba. Come on, I'm spitting everywhere. I'm so I'm so intense. I'm nervous. Can we do a goal, please? We need this cup run. 
Bamba straight at the keeper. Oh, Jacob, catch one more. We do not. How is it going to go to sudden death penalties against a team from the league below? Why are we making such hard work of this? Right, Jacob, you've caught two. You don't even need to worry about catching this one. Just stop it going in the net. Jacob, for a third penalty save of the shootout. And no, it's all going wrong, isn't it? We're getting knocked out here. Larson already talked about how he's one of the longest serving players at the club. A proper Wembley boy. That's a very confident penalty that I don't want to see any of my players ever take again. Um, but does put us back in control and gives Jacob another opportunity to cement his legacy as a cup run hero. This penalty save, Jacob, could be worth 30 grand to us. We could really use 30 grand. Jacob, can he? he? Oh, he nearly did fingertips to it. That's a very, very good penalty. Again, these penalties in sudden death have been better than the ones in the actual match. Machiavelli now. I'm, I'm, I'm not very confident. Machiavelli, yeah, uh, straight at the goalkeeper. And now we're getting knocked out. Oh, we needed this money. This isn't how it was supposed to be. So, Jacob. I wish I could do a touchline shout right now. I feel like it'd make all the difference. Come on, Jacob. Do your thing. And... Oh, he does! We're... <laughs> Our oh, football manager. Right. New features for FM25. Can we not have these penalty shootouts that go to 10 penalties each? Almost every time. They're ridiculous, especially when you're trying to make YouTube videos on them and they end up this long because you have such a long penalty shootout. Right, we are in control again. Now, Jacob, again, we have an opportunity to uh, to get us into the first round of the FA Cup. Please just save the penalty again. I mean, he's saved three already on this run. And there's his four. Four penalty saves in one shootout from Jacob. I mean, that demonstrates how poor our own penalties were for a goalkeeper to have to save four of them. Uh, but we are in... We are in the first round of the FA Cup, which obviously will be tomorrow's episode away against Fylde as we keep running with our cup run. So we got 10 grand of prize money for that. Now we're off to Fylde, off to Sunny Fylde in October. What more could you want? Um, how? What kind of attendances do they get? Not much more than Weymouth. I mean, they got less than 500 people for that match. It's probably what they're going to get for us. Um, but if we have a look at what that's done to the finances, we made like seven grand today. I don't know that the cup run's going to save us this time. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.